Hello everyone, welcome back to another Josh L2 look back type thing. I'm still unsure what to call these videos, <laughs> uh, but it works. Uh, we left off on this level titled Blocked Course. I haven't touched this set in about a week and a half, close to two weeks now. Uh, it's been a while. I did have a failed recording session the last time I recorded. Well, this level and it was like maybe two others. Uh, it didn't work out in my favor unfortunately it was just too many interruptions and such like that so I just said screw it so I just went ahead and well deleted the solutions I had so I could replay these levels because I am OCD I don't wanna play back solutions unless I absolutely have to uh, so yeah this is blocked course um, got some teeth over there guarding a block and I got a block right here that I don't know if I need or not. Apparently I do. And I left this option to do that. I don't know why I included that. I guess it's kind of cool, I suppose, but it, it makes optimizing easier, I guess. But I don't think anyone's optimized this level, so yeah, I don't really recommend it anyway. So yeah, this is a course that's blocked, supposedly. Um, I kind of miss the days where I can just design levels and just apply some random title to it, even if it doesn't make any sense at all. So like right here, gotta get teeth to blow these bombs up. And I think you have to use this other one too. I don't remember what the right approach to this is. I can get this I can get this block. But with no harm. I think what I have to do. Yeah, I have to get I have to get the block over here. Bummer. Oh wait, I except I have to get that tooth that tooth monster on that trap button right there. Okay. Well getting back to that point isn't gonna be too bad. So yeah, this level has a time limit of nine fifty, which at one point, I was like, oh, you know, 950 second time limit is cool. Because it's, even to this day, it's not at a, a time limit of an official level. But in hand sight, uh, 950 seconds, it, in my honest opinion, it, it might as well just be a full 999. Because really, what's 49 more seconds going to do? But it is what it is. There, there's still, there's some good levels that have that type of time limit, I guess. All right, get you over there. So, gotta get the tooth monster. It'll be easier from this approach. There we go. And I... Yeah. They're connected horizontally and vertically. Okay, so now that I got th that, I can do this. And this is a little tricky. But it's... That gravel tile makes it like 10 times easier. All right, we got that part cleared out. That's actually not that's not too bad of a section, really. It, it's it's unique. All right, what the hell is this? I don't remember this level much because this this isn't one of the levels that's necessarily memorable. I mean, even though it's right after Frozen Labyrinth. So if I'm 
right. I think what I have to do is just block this uh, bug in place in, in that center section, which is pretty interesting to do that. Except, wait. There's probably a much easier or faster way to do this, but I don't remember it. Right, so now you're going to travel this outer edge, and then I can get you stuck in here. So now it's always going to toggle that. And an arbitrary long toggle door path, because that's always fun, right? To be fair, there aren't a whole lot of these characters anymore in level design these days. At least with the levels I've seen. But yeah, so speaking of levels, um, today, actually, or earlier today, uh, look at this, otherwise known as uh, Eddie Lim. Uh, the designer of uh, look at this dot dat 60 minutes dot dat whatever you want to call it uh, he returned suddenly and with a new set he just released called Sokoban CCLP and It's basically a set with 149 levels, and every single level is a Sokoban. And at that, it's they're all adapted on top of that. To be completely honest, it's kind of a hit. It's kind of a hit in this type set with me personally. Um, I'm still going to play. I've I've played up to what, like level 17 or 18 so far, and every six levels is like a different aesthetic on the outside of the Sokoban area. But I mean, they're all adapted, and the whole set Sokoban. So I mean, it's there's really no unless you're just a sucker for Sokobans, which some people in the community are. Um, it's just kind of like a bland set. You know, it has a couple things going for it aside from the aesthetics, like the level titles are pretty pretty cool. Um, the difficulty curve from what I've seen in the editor is pretty steady and gets pretty absurd at, at, towards the end. But again, I, I'd have to play it to get a full idea. But it's kind of a hit or miss thing with me. I, I'm not too big on it just because it's solely Soka bands. But it, it is what it is. It's a cool idea though. I definitely respect the fact that it, it's a 149 level set with only Soka bands. Like, there's nothing else like it. Which I think is pretty cool. And I, I'm all for being unique. So. Okay, so this is the mechanism. That's what the red button I pressed earlier does. It clones a ball, which co continuously clones walkers, which will eventually flood the area with the blocks. And you can actually bypass this whole system, not just because there's so many bombs, but... Um, you can just take a block and block this whole thing off entirely. I'm just going to wait until there's a little bit more room to get past it. Nope. There we go. Alright. And then a, t a convenient teleport just to see what's up ahead. So 
So yeah, I'm gonna I'm going to need the uh I'm gonna need a couple more blocks for this. But uh yeah, Sogman CCLP, it's it's a it's a cool little you know brain teaser you know it's full of soak bands which is obviously puzzle oriented but I mean Jeffrey made a pretty good point on the discord about the set if you can easily just take Yask or yet another soak band clone and just do it that and just play it that way but that I mean that I, I'm a sucker for aesthetics so it, I don't I, I can't hate the set entirely, right? And I provide plenty of extra blocks. Actually, I think there's more blocks in here than there are waters, water tiles. I'm not certain if that's the case or not, though. But in any case, that's blocked course. I I I missed. I had a completely missed opportunity to go back in here to the exit. Like I, that's a. This is a missed opportunity in my opinion. If I ever go back to redesign this level, that's definitely going to be something I'm going to do. Which brings me to my next uh, topic. But before that, let's play Chips Challenge DS because. This is a really awesome level. By awesome, I mean it's pretty stupid. The whole story behind this level was I, at one point in my in my life, I wanted Chips Challenge to be ported to the Nintendo DS. Because for those that, that know me, you know I'm pretty. I'm a well. I play the. You know, portable Nintendo consoles or handhelds or whatever. You know, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance, SP, uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, and now the Switch. Um, yeah, and then these arbitrary walkers, which make this level m even more annoying than it needs to be. So yeah, this whole level is shaped like a Nintendo DS. It's not... It's not a good level. It, it's yeah. It's just, it's kind of mediocre. Makes basically this is the top screen. The exit is one of the speakers, which I don't know why you'd want to exit towards the speakers, but that's whatever floats your boat. Um, and then a torture chamber slide that connects the screens together, which makes some sense, I suppose. Oh come on, makes some sense. I don't know. I, I I thought I was holding up. Apparently not. And the screens, which is this the bottom screen right here, it's supposed to be a lesson four ish type level, but I couldn't get an actual rep representation of lesson four to fit in that screen. Yeah, it, this is a dumb level. Let's just play it and get it over with. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so the next thing I was going to talk about was uh, I'm sort of attempting a couple of different projects at the same time. I don't, I don't know if this is a good a good or bad idea yet. Um, don't you wish this game was sold for Nintendo DS? Well, in hindsight, I still do wish it was. It would be much more convenient to play for me since I'm, you know, I'm usually on the go. That middle block is hot, by the way. How can blocks be hot? They're not attractive. That's that's a dumb joke. Let's not <laughs> forget I said that. <laughs> that was a stupid joke. I'll collect these chips real quick. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm attempting a couple different CC-related projects at once. Um, 
I was kind of a dumbass to include this, but whatever. Now we gotta go through the torture chamber slide again, and hopefully we don't run into walkers. I know I did that in the last, rec last re the failed recording I did of this set before. There we go. Chips challenge DS done. Explosives. Now this basically is a uh, inferior version of Detonation Station. It's basically what this level is. It's kind of stupid. But yeah, so the projects I'm kind of attempting are a Josh L2 Remastered Edition, kind of like what Zane did with his ZK sets, um, except I'd be solely doing it with every level of Josh L2 here. Um, it's kind of awkward because there's actually... Oh, Jesus. I'm not even holding down the keys. There we go. My, see, my window, my tile world window just went inactive and it locked into a, a movement, which is stupid. I'm taking a horrible approach with this, but whatever. Uh, yeah, Josh L2 Remastered Edition is what I'm sort of trying to do, but I'm not really going putting my best effort into it um it does include remaking the horrible levels the obviously horrible levels like uh like the block pushing levels even i don't know how it's gonna go i i've only i made up to like f the first five levels um i've kind of taken some cues from the ordinary dot dat set that Tyler remade of some some of the Josh L2 levels. I've kind of taken some notes off that into my own. But other than that, it's I don't know if it's going to be an actual successful project because I did I did try to do it with Josh L1 before Josh L7 was being designed or Sort of at the same time, to be honest. But uh, the Josh L Josh L one remake remastered edition or whatever you want to call it, that was obviously a stupid idea because there's very little creativity and originality in Josh L1. I mean, everything's mostly just a potential CC1 remake or sequel. Um, back when a lot of people did that. Uh, but Josh L2, it, there are a few creative ideas with this, with this set that I think some, at least some of these levels do deserve uh, remakes of some kind. Um, I think remastering all 149 levels is a, little, is a little pushing it, but it's. I'd like to see if I can do it. I mean, hell, if Eddie can make a, a, a 149 level set with only Soka Bands, I think I can remake every Josh L2 level in some aspect and make it interesting or fun to play um but that's that's more or less not ongoing like i'd want it to be but whenever i get an idea for a remake or whatever i i try to do it all right explosives is done that was a pretty boring level. I don't even know how to even go about remaking that since I already have Detonation Station. Even one tank can be deadly. With a question mark formation and, and chips. Okay. This is deadly tank. This is more or less just an item swapper with a tank sliding around on ice. 
See, Jeffrey, when I said I suck at making item swappers, I was, wasn't was kidding. <laughs> uh, an but another uh, project I just started on, I think, either last night or the night before. Um, uh, I've decided to do a different approach with a CC2 set. Aside from a flurry on one, um, so some of you probably know or are aware of the, some of the ongoing CC2 sets are in construction currently, like Joshua Bones Walls of Chips Challenge One and Mobuses, Mobus or Mobus, whichever you prefer. I don't think you're watching this anyway, but. Whatever you'd like to be called. Um, he has a Walls of CCLP2, which it was inspired by Joshua Bone's set. And I decided to try to do Walls of CCLP3. Now... I was initially going to try this this out as a CC1 set. Uh, mainly because I have a pretty good idea what uh, a certain someone's uh, set is going to be consisted of. I'm not going to say anything because I could be wrong, but... Um, and I'm pretty convinced that it's, it's it's a walls of type set as well. See that that chip under the block was kind of unnecessary. So is that ball. That, that's a really awful placement of a ball to dodge. And a pointless pop-up wall path cuz yay. I think this is it. I solved this level a lot quicker than compared to the last recording I did. I'm a, I think I just had a bad night. Oh wait, I can go down here, can't I? No, I need to get the uh I need to get the uh flippers. Uh, so yeah, Walls of CCLP3 was supposed to be a, or I initially wanted it to be a CC1 set, but then I thought, I, I kind of debated the idea back and forth in my head, like, like do I want to try to do this for CC1, that way I can focus on Flareon 1 as my main CC2 set, or should I follow the crowd of some sorts and... Um, try to uh, make a walls of set with CC2 and I don't know the path this freaking tank is going to take I don't even know how to get to the exit I think it's just down there Hopefully. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's right there. I'm going to wait a cycle just in case because I'm not going to get pulverized by that tank. That's going to be deadly to me. So, yeah, uh, I kind of pushed, my, went back and forth in my head like, should I make walls of CCLP3 a CC1 set or a CC2 set? And I almost want, I was almost going to ask for second opinions on Discord, but I already knew mostly everyone would probably say a CC2 set, main, just because CC2. So I thought, well, asking for second opinions is kind of pointless in that regard. So I just said, let me try it with CC2, see how it goes. If I, if I don't like it or don't or can't think of anything good for it, then I'll maybe move to CC1. I don't know. It's still kind of debate, debating in my head, honestly. 
but I think it will be a CC2 set, and it's a, it's a good thing too, because that way I can easily explore you know, CC2 concepts and such. So, yeah, there's that, and I can save, I can have Flareon one on the back burner, if you will, and just kind of hold on to it and revise it until I get better at Chips Challenge two designs, because I'm I'm still trying to find my des design style. Cause I can't really do the, the design style I did with CC1 and CC2 to, to some extent because there's just so much to do like you don't know where to start with level design and at least with this game there's only a limited amount of things you can start your level off with in, in my opinion but yeah Walls of CCLP3 is going to be a CC2 set as far as I know Anyway, Traps of Creativity. Now this this level actually a lot of people seem to like it and I'm honestly kind of surprised because it's it's not the best well ordered in my opinion. But I, I can see why some people like this level. All right, so this this little section here is actually different in links. I don't remember. I think it's monster order that makes it different. But it's basically a a gears type scenario from CC LP one. Pretty cool, I guess. Okay, so we gotta go in here. Gotta get here. Gotta get here. Oh, there's an invisible wall. I remember when Jeff, when Trevor LP'd this set, he commented on that invisible wall saying it was a, it was a good placed one, or a, a greatly placed one. I don't know if that stands true or not. Hit that red button and go back down to teleport afterwards. Interestingly enough, this section tripped up a lot of people even though that hint mostly makes it clear what to do. Um, so you kind of have this little theme going for this level. Like, like you can you can set yourself up to fail if you don't observe properly. I guess this was my first ever ob observation type level I've made. Um, I want to say I do that. And then that. Okay, I, I guess I kind of see how that section's iffy, or you know, it trips people up because it is kind of unclear in some aspects. But yeah, hit the red button, go back, and go down, back down to teleport. Arbitrary, creative, one ways esque thing. Creative one ways in, in in a CC2 context would be pretty interesting to see. Alright. So all these red buttons, except for the one I obviously pressed, are are bad to press. Um, well technically the one I this one below me here, it, it's it's bad to press now. Because it will eventually clone at clone gliders onto the slide. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't remember how many. Oh, I, I guess I need one more. Okay. Go down back here. I mean, I guess the way this level is laid out is it's it makes it interesting, I suppose. But I when I first designed this, I never really expected people to like it because it's full of traps and 
they claim to be creative, but I don't, I don't believe they are. Well, so, I guess some of them are, but I don't know. Here's a uh, partial posting thing. Okay, press that blue button. I think that drowned the tank and I can move on up there. And I can go in here. Which you don't have to step on that water tile, but it's there if you need it. This is kind of iffy. So I can go down here and do that. I can't press that yet. I was kind of proud of I, the the trap right here by the exit because if you obviously if I press that I'm going to get stuck. So I have to switch the parity of the toggle door to actually go through there safely. So I get I think the title references the the literal start of the level. So yeah, now you have to go all the way back around to get the, the one chip. Which some people have claimed they they dislike about the level, which is kind of fair, but at the same time that's kind of the crux of the level, so All right, got to lose everything. Hold that down. Press that to reverse the polarity. And exit. So yeah, that's traps of creativity. It's 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 a decent level, I suppose. It's still one I wouldn't mind seeing in the, an official set one day, but I don't think there's any com especially in comparison to my recent levels and Josh L 5, 6 and 7 especially. I don't think this one really compares to that but if I can if I can pull off re remaking this to make it look nicer and make uh, make a little bit more clear I think it'd make a pretty awesome remade level but we'll see how that goes okay pull position use these buttons to guide the ball to the clone button blocks will clone left this level now this level I ex actually expected people to like, and literally really no one cared for it, which is upsetting. A lot of people, well by a lot of people I mean like maybe a few, um, have said that this is pretty repetitive. Um, because you have to guide this ball around the track eight times. I mean, the only annoyance I have with it is this, this double teleport thing. Like, there was nothing stopping me from making this track on this path right here. Like, just have the ball loop around like that. I, I could have very easily have done that, but I, I didn't for whatever reason. Uh, so what do I have to press? I have to press the toggle button and then the tank button. Oh, I trapped the ball. And I put the blocks will clone, clone left bit in the hint because I didn't want people to stand on to get a blocked clone on cloned onto them because that would have been kind of unfair. I 
I still absolutely adore this concept, though. Like, I, I really wish this got more appreciated than what it is. Like, because this concept is still pretty cool. Even if you have do have to have eight blocks. That, however, is I can see that being pretty annoying. And you can kind of memor you can like kind of memorize the pattern. Like you can just, you know, tank that. Yeah. See. I will say that uh, Tyler, this was another level that Tyler remade because I know he didn't really care for the level because the eight block requirement. I think he limited I think he lowered it to six. I don't remember though. Okay. You can even see the ball go through the track like that right there. Alright, there we go. That is pole position. I, I really do like this level. I wish more people did. But I, I understand why... I can see why some people do dislike it. I, I think, you know, in hindsight, I, I do think 8 blocks was kind of pushing it. But, I mean, at the same time, you, can, you have the option to memorize the button inputs and just do it 8 times. I mean, it, it's not necessarily required of you to do that. Um... That being said, though, that would make a pretty interesting CC2 uh, bonus if I were to design this le a level similar to this for CC2. Um, and just, uh, if you do it fast enough, you get a, a, a nice bonus. If you don't do it fast enough, then it just gets blocked off to you. But I don't really know how to do mechanisms like that, so someone's going to have to show me <laughs> how to do that if I do such an idea. Okay, I'm at, wow, I'm at 38 minutes. Time went by pretty quick here. I'm going to end it off right here, because this level isn't exactly the shortest level in the world. But, uh, yeah. So, what was it? Blocked course. Would that can be considered the block pushing level of this decade? I, I know this level has some block pushing, but it's not that excessive. Um... Yeah, I guess so. So it still stands. I have a block pushing level in every freaking decade. And I know for a fact there's one in the 80s. So there's that covered. Um, but yeah, so we're going to take on that filter and hopefully many other levels in the rest. Uh, well, not. I don't even know what I was trying to say. In the future. <laughs> um, so thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I was kind of was on and off different topics at random times so my train of thought wasn't you know on a straight path it was kind of zigzagging everywhere but hopefully it wasn't too confusing but uh see you guys later for the next video whenever that comes up